The whistleblowing website WikiLeaks has published thousands more classified U.S. documents. Once again, they're both embarrassing and in some cases highly damaging. They range from cables sent from the U.S. Embassy in Wellington about New Zealand to the revelation that the King of Saudi Arabia urged the U.S. to bomb Iran's nuclear program. In a moment, we'll hear how John Key responded to the heads up from Washington its secrets were going public. But first, ITV's Chris Ship with details of the documents that some say will topple governments. It is a vast leak of diplomatic communiques from American embassies around the world. Blunt language intended only for eyes in Washington. But now 250,000 of them have been leaked to the world's media. Among the many claims tonight are that the U.S. believes North Korea has provided Iran with advanced missiles capable of attacking Western capitals. And the files report that Iran's neighbors are so concerned by the country's nuclear ambitions, some, among them Saudi Arabia's King Abdullah, have been privately urging America to launch military strikes. The Guardian newspaper is among several media outlets in a number of countries to have seen the leaked files. The paper's investigations editor has read thousands of them. It's in particular Saudi Arabia and Bahrain who, whatever their stance in public may be, in private are saying, we think you should stop the Iranians getting nuclear weapons by, by all means necessary. Uh, it clashes with the way they talk in public. Washington is also defending itself from claims it ordered diplomats to spy on the leadership of the United Nations, including the Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, obtaining passwords and credit card numbers. The leaks also reveal a Chinese global campaign of computer sabotage, a devastating criticism of UK military operations in Afghanistan, even claims of inappropriate behaviour by an unnamed member of the British royal family. Can you really justify releasing all these details? Yes, I can. I think it is of, of utmost interest to the general public to, uh, to know how, how the, these uh, the foreign policy issues are uh, are dealt with by the superpower and, uh, and other nations. In the coming days, we expect an unflattering American assessment of the present and previous prime ministers. This story, it seems, has some way to run. With more on the cables leaked from the American embassy in Wellington, I'm joined by Rebecca Wright, live from Parliament. Rebecca. Good evening, Mike. Well, the full text of those cables from Wellington to Washington hasn't been released yet, but we do know that at least one high-level briefing on their contents has already taken place. And some of those cables are supposed to talk about uh, the SAS uh, um, involvement in Afghanistan and around Hillary Clinton's visit here just a couple of weeks ago. And it appears that American officials here may have passed on their thoughts on our Prime Minister John Key when he was elected back in 2008. And here's what he had to say on the whole affair earlier today. Yes, so my understanding is broadly there's 1,490 cables that have been sent by the US Embassy in, in Wellington to Washington uh, that uh, we, we don't know all of the details in them, but you know, the, there's bound to be one or two comments in there that might lead to embarrassment at the most, but nothing more serious than that. But in fact, this leak has already gone beyond embarrassing overseas and it has the potential to cause real diplomatic humiliation to the United States. And that's because the uh, material doesn't just relate to one policy area, one country or even one continent. The problem for the US here is that the material has the potential to cause offence and create headlines in almost every country around the world, including New Zealand. And there is much more to come on this in the next few days and the next few weeks.